मधुरा फुट और माइसेटोमा माइसेटोमा वाज फर्स्ट रिपोर्टेड इन द मिड नाइनटीन सेंचुरी ऑफ मदुराई ऑफ इंडिया एंड हिंस वाज इनिशियली कॉल्ड एज मधुरा फुट एंड नवेडेज इट इज एड्रेस्ड एज द माइसेटोमा गिल वाज द फर्स्ट पर्सन हु रिकॉग्नाइज द माइसेटोमा एज अ डिसीज एंटिटी इन एटीन Coming to the history part in the Atharva Veda, in which reference is made to Pada Valmikam, which means is anthil foot. Mycetoma is a disease caused by certain bacteria and as well as fungi, which are found in the soil and water. These bacteria and fungi may enter the body through a wound that is break in the skin. often on the person's foot causative agents mycetoma can be caused by different species of bacteria or fungi if it is caused by the bacteria then it is called as actinomycetoma and if it is caused by the fungi then it is call, called as eumycetoma if it is bacteria actinomycetoma and if it is by the fungi then we call it as eumycetoma so these are the list of the bacteria and fungi which are causing which are the causative agents and leading into the different green color in this photo we can see the areas like africa asia latin america which is called as the mycetoma belt in these areas the mycetoma are often found incubation period the incubation period ranges from 3 months to 9 years so to appear the symptoms it may take once the infection occurred and the symptoms to appear the time period required it may be around 3 months or 9 years also clinical feature the painless subcutaneous mass is a classical presentation multiple sinuses and discharge containing grains commonly involves the extremities back and gluteal regions also spreads to involve the skin deep structures and then the bony rolment appears transmission germs can enter the body through wound or other small skin injuries like thorn prick mycetoma does not spread between the peoples diagnosis biopsy culture and sensitivity x-ray ct mri and uhg biopsy will help us to distinguish between the fungi and bacterial infection as well as to confirm the disease culture will help us so proper pressing over the sinuses and the pus or the secretion has to be collected and sent for the culturing x ray will help us to distinguish between the bony involvement and ct mri does the same so actinomycetoma and eumycetoma actinomycetoma which is caused by the bacteria and eumycetoma is caused by the fungi so if it is actinomycetoma we get a gram positive culture and 0.5 to 1 micrometer white filaments where in the eumycetoma the filaments size is 2 to 5 micrometer coming to the treatment part actinomycetoma is treatable with the antibiotics actinomycetoma which means the bacterial infection cotrimoxazole dapson streptomycin trimethoprim rifampicin 
amoxyl with clavulanic acid combination have been used and found to be effective in treating the active mesotoma. In case of U mesotoma, amputation may be needed. If it is a smaller lesions, then a longer duration of antifungal treatment is needed. In an advanced infection where the amputation may be the only available treatment. Most commonly described regimen for actinomycetoma include streptomycin plus either TMP, sulfamethoxazole or Depson. So it's a combination of streptomycin or and Depson or streptomycin plus TMP. In this regimen, streptomycin at the dose of 14 mg per kg per day intramuscularly is given for the one month duration and sometimes three times weekly thereafter for the several months. In addition to a long course of TMP SMX, usually one double strength tablet that is 160 mg of TMP and 800 mg of SMX twice daily or Depson that is 1.5 mg per kg per day twice daily. In 1987, Welch demonstrated an excellent therapeutic response with amikacin alone and in combination with the TMP SMX that is the Welch regimen. The regimen included cyclical dosing of amikacin that is 14 mg sorry 15 mg per kg per day in two divided doses in a cycles of 21 days for one to three cycles which intervals of 15 days between the cycle while cotrimoxazole was administered continuously for 35 to 105 days. Damley et al. in 2008 introduced a modified Wells regimen in unresponsive patients by adding the rifampicin as the third drug to the TMX, SMX, and amikacin. It is about the actinomycetoma. Now we look into the treating the eumycetoma, that is fungal growths. Etraconazole, ketoconazole, terbinafine, variconazole, posconazole have proven a effective treatment to control the eumycetoma. So newer drugs are also under the study. So this is about the actinum mycetoma and eumycetoma or mycetoma or madurai foot. So if you like this video then kindly subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching my video.